They got me running up the road. Gotta go to Joycey and pick somebody up. You feel like summertime. So you gotta have good tunes when you're on the road. You gotta go all the way up to Jersey and pick somebody up coming in. Hope everybody's having a good night. I hope everybody's 2019 is going well so far. Mine is going nicely. Thank you very much. A little stress here and there, but you know, that's life. You can't get over that. I had a good old time. Some, pe some people that saw on my social media, they saw um, I went to MAGFest, so I had a great time there. But, um, yeah. You know, it just hit me to um, do this video. You know, you know they, I haven't really had much... Um, much ideas on videos lately so I'm guessing I'm just I said all I needed to say but as y'all know I you know I only do videos when I when it hits me to do something when it hits me to speak on something so you know anybody that's following my videos don't feel like I stopped I didn't stop I just you know I just really I try not to oversaturate and I try not to just do something just because I only do it when it, the thought crosses my mind so you know this video you know I we all find ourselves trying to be tough, you know, trying to be strong, scrawl, you know, trying to, trying to be the man, the woman, you know, don't need nobody, don't want nobody in our corner, don't, don't, um, you know, we want to prove that we can stand on our own and we don't need the help of anybody because, you know, whether, regardless of, it's because you've been, you know, betrayed in the past, you've, um, You've trusted people in confidence and they turn around and put your business out there. So, you know, you tend to not trust people anymore. Or, honestly and truly, you are just the, sh you just so happen to be the strongest one in the group. You know, out of your clique of friends, you're the, sh you're the strength. You're the one that everybody goes to. So, you know, and I've done a video in the past about this, but I'm going to reiterate it, you know. Look. Even psychologists gotta go to psychologists. You know? Even a doctor gotta go to a doctor. You get what I'm saying? Even pastors go to other pastors. You know? And of course, they go to the big guy upstairs, you know, almighty, of course. But what I'm saying is, regardless, if you are the strongest one in the group, if you are the strongest one among your peers, if you are just that person that's just strong-willed and strong-minded, and you can you usually stand firm on your own two feet and I'm not knocking that and I'm not taking that away from you. I pride myself in saying I can, I'm, I'm that with a few of my peers and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I know what it's like to bottle everything up. I know what it's like to take on other people's energy and take on other people's issues and stuff like that. And then on top of taking on other things, because when people come to you and they, they release into you, you take that on. Regardless if you want to believe so or not. You take that on, even if it's the tiniest bit. So just imagine that. You're taking on other people's stresses and stuff like that. You Even just sitting down and listening to it. And, they take, and you have your own stuff and you're bottled up. And you don't release it to nobody because you don't think anybody can handle it. Or you feel like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to bother nobody. I don't want to burden nobody and this and that. That's why I said in another video, I said... You have to have your concierge. You have to have that person that you can confide in. Everybody needs that person that they can talk to, they can go and talk to. I'm not saying go to them every two, 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 two seconds or nothing like that. But, you know, when things start to, you know, feel murky, when things start to feel like overwhelming, you got to have that person that you can go to, you know. And if you don't have that person, I, by all means, just pray, you know, pray, go to God, you know, and talk to him. Let me tell you, sometimes it's just things are just so just, it's just dark. I don't know what the next move is. And it's just like, yo, stressed. And, you know, in the past, even like every now and again now, you know, I, I'll happen to keep things to myself and not say anything and not say what's really bothering me. It's just so happened that, you know, the person or persons that I talk to, that I confide in, we're so close they can feel when I'm going through something they'll usually be the one to call me or ask what's wrong and stuff now here's the responsibility part right here 
You can have a person in your corner. If you choose to continue to hold that stuff in, especially after they're asking you, yo, you good? This is somebody you trust. I'm not just saying just any old person. This is people you trust. This is people you love. This is people who you deal with. You know what I'm saying? This is a person that you confide in. If you choose to continue to hold on to all that stress, hold on to it, because it, that, then you're doing yourself a disservice. You have people in your corner. There are people out there that literally don't have people. You have people in your corner. You have a person that you can confide in. You have a person that you can go and say, hey, I'm feeling this way about this, this way about that. And I just, I just need to let it off my chest, you know? And sometimes that's all it takes. Even if it's some, even if it's just something you don't want to get advice on. Even if it's just something you just want, you just want somebody to listen to you. You just want somebody, you just need somebody to be an ear. Then tell them. That's who you trust. Why wouldn't you tell them that? Hey, I just, you know, I just need somebody to listen to me, man. Just, just hear me out. Just, you don't even got to give me no advice. Not just hear me out. Hey, look, this is how I'm feeling. And I just don't know what to do. I don't yada, 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 yada. You know, I feel like we tend to, we tend to take on unnecessary burden and, and we tend to keep ourselves unnecessarily stressed because Life is going to happen. Life is always going to happen. There's going to be situations that you don't like. There's going to be a situation that happened, that occurs, that you feel like you're stuck in the middle. You feel like it's just nothing that you can do to fix it. And you just got to ride it out. But at the end of the day, even if that's something that you are in, the very least you can do is give yourself some type of peace of mind. At least come to some type of you know, place where you can say, all right, I understand that right now this is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. All I can do about it is pray on it and keep it moving. And if it's something that really feels burdensome and stuff like that, reach out to that person that you do trust. Reach out to that person that you can't confide in. You know, I think too many of us want to be Samson out here, want to be, you know, that pillar, that pillar that doesn't move, that pillar that's not affected by the things that's going on around us. And at the end of the day, regardless of how tough you are, and I think I'm a very tough individual, you know, I, emotional, but I mean, I'm, I'm tough nonetheless. There are moments where I feel like my head's going to explode because I'm just taking on too much. But like I said, I've been blessed to have people in my corner that I trust and that I can talk to and that um, I don't have to worry about them putting my business out there. You know, there's certain people I had to cut off because of that, but it is what it is. But I think that as individuals, we definitely need to take up and be responsible for our own peace and for our health and for watching our stress levels because stress stress will kill you. I literally know people right now I could name that has died because they stress themselves to death. Stress will kill you. You can't sit there and hold that in and stress yourself out. You're going to hurt yourself. It will manifest and start to physically cause ailments in your body. You cannot do that. You have to take responsibility for your health. You dig? And I say that I say that, I stress that. I mean that. I'm, 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 you need to sit down and really think about it. And if it's, if it's to the point where you truly don't feel like you can talk to somebody, then you need to find some other outlet. You have to find some other way to release it. Write it down. Do a video and don't post it. Just talk into it. Do a journal. Go do something you love. Go work. Do something constructive. Don't. Because you can stress it Because I know you know, I'm about to say I love to eat And I used to stress eat I still stress eat at times And <laughs> that's not healthy You know Do something constructive You know Do something that's not gonna Be a problem <laughs> You know that Some people drink You overindulge You have a problem there You know Find a way to release your stress That's not gonna cause you harm You know Go for a walk Go for a drive Listen to music Go shoot some pool Go watch a movie Something but when you do those things, those things are to decompress you or to take your mind off of it a little bit. That doesn't necessarily mean that the stress and all of that is going to be gone. You still have to work through it. You still have to deal with it. You have to come to a place where you've accepted it. 
I do believe that when you have people in your corner, you should use them. People are tools, especially when they are your loved ones. You know, I'm not saying to you. I'm not saying to use people in a negative sense. I know somebody might interpret it that way. No, I just mean that you have people in your corner that loves you and that wants to help you wherever they can. It may not be monetarily, but the least a person can do that love, that claims they love you, that's for you and that stand by you, is listen. That's the least a person could do, is listen. You dig? So, that's it. That's all. Hope everybody has a good night. Hope the rest of your week is awesome. Stay prayed up. Keep faith. Have peace. It's the beginning of the year. Let's all work toward a better future. All that good stuff. And uh, enjoy life, man. <laughs> I'm out.